Okay, now we're going to move into some meteor questions, I'm sure. So let's take ourselves in and go. Question three. I'm actually just going to look here and go, well, there, there are a few questions. I've recopied the graph because we're going to need it. And we've got six questions with a few marks. So it's probably worthwhile just spending a little bit of time looking at this. The sketch shows the graph of f of x equals a half x squared minus 2. Immediately, half x squared, x squared, it's a parabola. Cool. So this one here is the parabola. That's f. And I love, I'm, you know, I'm not always that colorful, but I like to only be colorful here and go, well, if that's that one, sometimes we will take the highlight out and go, cool, let's highlight it very carefully. Maybe this is why I'm not a highlighter type person. And we've highlighted it. Okay. And then we get our other nice color, red. Pick of the day. Oh, yellow maybe. And g of x equals a half x plus 1. It's just an x, not an x squared. It's not in the denominator, not on the exponent. Oh, that's a straight line. So that's that straight line there. It's actually quite nice. So we can see there's our straight line. There's our parabola. We've got a few points along the way. Let's see what it's asking us. Write down the domain for g of x. g of x, yellow, yellow. Okay, so let's stick with yellow. This thing here was excluded. This part here was included. Domain, domains to do with x's. So we're looking at this x value up to this x value. So we're going from minus 4. I'm actually going to bail on this yellow. I can barely see it. Maybe it's my poor eyesight. So we're going to go from negative 4. There's our negative 4, and we're going up to 6, because we said domain is to do with x values. Now we just need to think, are we including, excluding? This circle was filled in, so we're including square bracket. Okay, the 6 was, the dot wasn't filled in, so it's excluded. Excluded is the round bracket, and we're done. Cool. I'm going to keep going for the same video for this to go through because the questions are going to link up. Write down the range of f of x. f of x was this pinky one. Cool. So we're on the parabola. And where's my pink? Yeah. Oh, pink. I'm not doing well here. Pink. Here it is. So the range of the this here. So we're going to need the lowest value up to the highest value. So we don't know what this a is. It would be nice if we knew what its coordinates were. Well, we know the, let's actually think, what do we know about this? It's the y-intercept, we know the x value is 0. How do we find the y value if we're given the x value? Well, we substitute 0 in, so I'm actually going to do it here on the side. So we're asking f of 0 is a half 0 squared minus 2. Well, that's just 0, so it's minus 2. In other words, this point is... 0 minus 2. Cool. Let's put it in our graph. Something we found out legitimately. Put it in our graph so we can use it later. I mean, look, line AB is coming up, so we can use that. Okay, so we've got negative 2. So the range, range is y values. y value up to, I was going to keep going. So its smallest value is negative 2, and its biggest value is, well, it keeps going, so it's going to go to infinity. Are we including negative 2? Yes, it definitely goes through point A. So we're going to include it. Can we ever get to infinity, Buzz Lightyear? No, we can never quite reach there. So that's why we exclude it. So there we go. There's our range. Let's keep going here. We've got, down, got quite a lot of information now. Write down the length of line AB. So if we were to look at this line here, and we said this AB, what's the length? So we're looking at this length must to do with y value. So if we knew the coordinates of b, that would be handy, because then what's the distance from minus 2 up to whatever this is? This is a similar question to the one above, in that the x value is 0 here. It's just the y-intercept of our yellow line, our straight line. So we're asking ourselves, what's g of 0? When x is 0... What's our y value? So we're going to substitute it in. A half times 0 plus 1 equals 1. So that point must be 0, 1. That must be a 1. 
Now, really don't mind if you're not showing this working out in the right. If you're reading it off and going, well, that's the y-intercept, that's the y-intercept, great stuff. There isn't a lot of space if this were a write-on for working out, but that's how we're working it out. So I'm just showing my thinking. Okay, so we've got that. So 0, 1, what's the distance from minus 2 to 1? Going to do it in a few ways. That distance is 2. That distance is 1, so the whole distance must be 3. Or you could go 1 minus minus 2 gives you 1 plus 2, which is 3. So 3, and we're good to go. Yeah, let's, let's keep going. Here are the things, and I'm going to just fill in the bits we knew from above. This was 0, 1. This was 0, minus 2. And that's all we had written in. And we know that distance is 3. Ooh, a bit too far. And we had had, this was the straight line, was the yellow one. This was the yellow one. The pink one was the parabola, which was that. Cool. Determine the value of t, the y-coordinate of point c. So this is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find that there. It's sitting on our parabola, on the pinky function. There's our pinky function, so it's got something to do with this equation. If we're given the x value, how do we determine the y value? Just substitute in. So f of x is half x squared, <coughs> excuse me, minus 2. So when x is minus 3, we're going to substitute it in, minus 3 squared <coughs> minus 2. And I'm going to move up here. Really plug this into your calculator. 1 over 2, and we're going to go for this, sorry. 1 over 2 times minus 3 squared minus 2, 5 over 2, 5 over 2. So in other words, this is what t is. I just always like putting these in nice coordinates, 5 over 2. There we go. Okay, so two more questions, question 3. Still going strong, I think. Write down the equation of the axis of symmetry of f of x. get something to stop my coughing right down okay so equation of symmetry where is this thing symmetrical so this f here if we put a piece of paper or mirror where would it exactly reflect well it would be just right along here the y-axis but it's not good enough to write the y-axis it says the equation you also can't write zero because what does zero mean at this stage what is the equation of this line well, x equals 0. And that's the only axis of symmetry. And it's something that we're going to talk about in the next few lessons as well. We haven't looked at axes of symmetry that much. Okay, and the last bit we're going to look at in this question, write down the new equation of f of x if the graph is reflected about the x-axis. Well, if we reflect about the x-axis then we just make the whole thing negative. So f of x, we know, is a half x squared minus 2. So all we need to do is go y equals negative that whole thing, x squared minus 2. So we're just going to distribute this negative into the brackets, and we've got minus a half x squared, negative times a negative is a positive, and there we go.